The main problem here may be the planet's magnetic field. The thing is that it is not generated by the rotation of the Earth's core, as you often hear from popularizers who do not fully understand the science. This hypothesis was tested quite a long time ago, and scientists concluded that a spherical core, simply rotating, will not generate a magnetic field. The process by which magnetic fields form in planets is called the planetary dynamo. It consists in the fact that the magnetic field, for example that of the Earth, is created by a complex system of flows of material in the planet's interior. These flows are streams of charged particles that generate magnetic fields around themselves. These fields overlap and form the planet's overall magnetic field. The mechanisms underlying the formation of these flows and their configuration remain poorly understood. It is believed that they are influenced by the thickness of the planet's crust, temperature, the chemical composition of the core and mantle, the size and rotation speed of the planet's core, and many other factors. For example, if a planet turns out to be too hot and has a thin crust, then a magnetic field will not form, as happened, for instance, with Venus. And conversely, if a planet is too cold, the viscosity of its material will be too high, the flows will lose too much energy, and they will generate much weaker magnetic fields. This, in turn, will lead to the planet having a weaker magnetic field, or none at all, as we can see in the case of Mars. Unfortunately, since we do not have precise data on the contribution of tidal heating to the planet's total heat output, and do not fully understand how the planetary dynamo works, we cannot estimate how dangerous the Moon's disappearance would be for our magnetic field. However, we can say for sure that nothing positive would come of it. All possible scenarios are negative, differing only in the severity of their consequences. But even if it so happened that the field disappeared completely, hundreds of millions of years would pass between the disappearance of the Moon and the disappearance of the magnetic field.